Hey, what's up everybody? Rich Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, we're going to unbox, demo, and review the Mayu Mini Plus handheld video game console. And I know you guys are probably wondering to yourselves, didn't this guy already review this months and months ago? I 100% did. Love the Mayu Mini Plus, but it's now coming with a brand new micro SD card installed within it, which gives you a completely different operating system. It's now using Onion OS, and it's using version 4.20. This is gonna get you new cores, it's gonna get you new emulators, it's going to get you uh, some standalone emulators, it's gonna get you some overclocked emulators, it's gonna get you a lot of new things that weren't available in the past. It's also gonna get you the Geltron overlays, among other things, but we're also getting a new game collection across the board here. So it's gonna differ very much from what was stock on here in the past. So let's quickly unbox this. We're not gonna to spend too much time looking over the functions and features of this handheld externally because everything there is gonna stay the same. But we're going to dive straight into this. We're going to tour through what's offered and what differs from what was offered in the past. Let's dive into it. All right, guys. So we're going to go to the bottom side of our handheld. And you can see we have a micro SD card slot with a micro SD card already inserted in here. So we're going to go ahead and eject that and inside here we have a sandisk 128 gigabyte micro sd card now generally with any plug and play handheld like this you're going to get a no name brand micro sd card it's going to be generic and usually generic ones are very unreliable sandisk is one of my favorite brands i love sandisk and samsung i find them to be incredibly reliable so the fact that this is a name brand and reliable micro SD card is huge. It's also 128 gigabytes. So I just want to show you guys that it is name brand and this is going to have Onion OS on it. So we're going to go ahead and reinsert this, power this on, and we'll tour through everything that it has to offer. So power buttons located right up here. We'll go ahead and hold this down and jump into it. All right, guys, so here we are booted up into our Mayo Mini Plus and you can see up here top left corner, Onion OS. So we have recent, we have favorites, we have games, we have expert. We also have applications over here. We have our settings. Now, one thing that I want to point out before we dive into this, because in all honesty, I'm not crazy about the stock uh, theme on here. I'm just, it's just pretty boring. So we're going to go into our applications. And I believe because I am familiar with Onion OS, if we go down, we have themes here. Let's see if there's preloaded themes on here already, or if we have to download them. And wow, it looks like there's 56 themes in here by default. So I'm just gonna scroll, we can scroll two different directions, but take this, take a look at this. Spider uh, Mayu right here, this is going to be a Spider-Man theme that we could choose from. And these are ready to go. You just have to download them. You know, you don't actually have to download them. You just have to select them and load them in basically. Uh, Super Onion Entertainment System. So we have some really cool Nintendo themed um, options here. Some old school stuff. It looks like old school PC. This is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Definitely some cool stuff here. And we were in the 40s where we kicked everything off. So let's go the opposite way. So we started right about here at 42. Um, let's go this way. Really vibrant Rick and Morty theme. Retro-Rama, which is an awesome theme. I actually love that. That's the first theme that I really got into with RetroPie. We've got this PlayStation theme right here, um, Super Nintendo sort of theme, Pac-Man theme. That's co a cool retro theme there with Super Nintendo or Super Famicom. Um, Onion Boy, Simpsons, that's cool. I like the Simpsons. That's a, definitely a, a bright looking theme. Um, we've got Onion Boy, Game Boy themes. Let's see what else we have. Metal Slug theme. This looks like a Zelda Majora's Mask sort of theme here. That looks pretty cool. Star Fox. Um, this is a basic Mayu uh, mini theme here, but definitely got more to it than the original stock one. Some more Game Boy options here. Some Pokemon themes. Um, that one looks pretty cool. End of Ages looks pretty vibrant as well. Dragon Ball Z. We've got some more generic ones here. Some anime ones. Chew Clean Mini, that looks cool. We got Kirby up there. Let's select that one. That's the first one on here. So we'll let this load in. Should take just a couple of seconds. Cool. So let's back out. Oh, that's really cool. It's got different characters for each of these options here. So yeah, we've got Kirby on favorites. We've got Mario on games, 
experts got uh, Ash from Pokemon. Got Link over here, Sonic. Um, we got some Street Fighter. So that's really cool. Now, does favorites have games already? No, it's empty. That's awesome. Hate when they fill in your favorites for you. They're telling, trying to tell you what you should like. Uh, so let's go into games. And we'll dive through here. And some stuff that we're probably not going to notice right off the bat is that we have the drastic Nintendo DS emulator installed on here. We have the Game Boy and Game Boy Color, as well as um, Neo Geo Pocket. We have those configured with Geltron overlays. We have ScumVM as a standalone emulator. We have the PC uh, SX standalone emulator as well, so you don't have to go through RetroArch for all of those. We also have, uh, what else? We have the, um, what else? We also have FB Neo, which has been overclocked with better ROMs on here. And we have some additional cores within RetroArch um, added like Duck Station and some cool stuff like that. So inside here, we have our collections. I love the graphics for each of these. They're very vibrant. We also get the logo on there, so it's very easy to read everything. So we kick off with Amiga up here. And it looks like we have a sub collection right off the bat. And we're going to dive into that. Notice how it says modern at the top and then our game list starts. So for the game list here, we seem to have, let's see, 214 titles here. And let's go into modern real quick. Let's see how that looks in there. So we have 27 titles inside here for modern. And I'm not super familiar with this collection, so I really can't say a whole lot about this, but Looks to be some really cool modern day stuff in here. Nice. All right, so let's back out. Um, Amstrad, the CPC, let's go in here. 226 games, but we also have the modern collection with 47 additional. Let's go back and we'll continue on. We have MAME over here, or Classic Arcade, and this has 374 titles in here. And it looks really sharp. Now, I'm not seeing scraped data for this collection. I'm wondering if that is just because of how this theme is laid out, because typically we do have scraped data. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna back out of all this really quick, and let's go back over to apps, and let's change the theme, because I, I just wanna get a feel for what is truly offered here, and sometimes you have some limitations with themes. So we were in that theme, let's go over to Let's find ourselves a more generic one. So let's go into this one. This is a little bit more basic, but certainly more vibrant than um, the original stock theme. So let's go back into games. And this one, you can see we have the icons here for the collection. Still looks cool. Arcade, it's loading. Okay, yeah, there we go. So we do have the scraped data here. We have the logo, the screenshot, and the cover art or box art for each title. So 374 games for Classic Arcade otherwise known as MAME. Looks like some really good stuff. I saw Batman in there. Let's loop around the other direction. Go down to the end of the alphabet because everything is laid out in alphabetical order. So we got some X-Men in here. I don't see WWF WrestleFest, which is, oh, well, helps if I get up there to the W's, but I don't see it there either. So that's is what it is. Um, let's see. Got some good stuff though. Got Tron in here. Tetris. We got the Tekkens, which is cool to have the arcade versions of those. Usually we find those in like PlayStation 1. Street Fighters are in here. We've got Star Wars. It's the original Star Wars, right? Yep. Awesome. So we got some good stuff. Atari 2600, we have 50 titles. I'm not going to jump too far into the Atari collections. 5200 has 32. Uh, 26 had how many? 50. 78 has uh, 32, but we have the modern sub collection here with an additional 10. I don't think we had those for these, did we? No. Okay. Atari Lynx, we have 75 plus the modern, which gives us another 10. We have Capcom um, System 1 with 29. And these are usually complete. So let's go over. Okay, so for the additional collections, you scroll to the right. Capcom System 2 has 37. You can see the layout there. These are all going to have a screenshot from the titles, but I am seeing all of our favorite Capcom titles listed here for um, CPS 2. Let's go into CPS 
three, should be six. Yep, there we go, six. Awesome. Um, ColecoVision, we have 39 plus the Modern Collection with an additional 32. So these are, oh, they, they look promising. Let's see how the layout is here. So we have screenshots as well, good deal. We have Commodore 64 with 146 titles plus the Modern Collection, which gives us 72 additional ones. And they have screenshots as well, not for every single one, but you can see some have them, some don't. Just depends on what's available for those. And now we have Nintendo DS over here, which does have the drastic NDS emulator here. Let's take a look. 13 titles in here for Nintendo DS. So that includes Diddy Kong Racing, which is one of my go-tos for this collection. Jungle Climber as well. Fire Emblem, Harvest Moon DS, Kirby's in here, Mario Kart DS, Mario versus Donkey Kong 2, Super Mario Brothers, Sega Superstars, Tennis, Super Mario 64 for DS, Tetris DS, awesome stuff, and obviously some additional titles here as well. So we'll back out. Here we have original Game Boy with 178 titles, but we have some sub-collections here, which is always good. We have the Mayu Collection, 322. We have the Modern Collection with 43, and we have the translations with four translations here. So if you're into Japanese releases, they've got you covered here. Let's back out. We have the Game Boy Advance Collection. Also has subcategories or collections, 221 by default. We also have hacks, 13 hacks. Mayu Collection has, holy crap, 1,749 titles in here. Kicking off with the double sevens. I'm just scrolling down to see if we have those here. So we don't have duplicates, which is great. Pokemon hacks. How many Pokemon hacks? 31 hacks for Pokemon. That is awesome. If you're a Pokemon fan, they've got you covered here for sure. Translations, nine translations as well. Let's back out of Game Boy Advance. Let's go into Game Boy Color. Game Boy Color, also with these sub collections. 118 by default. How many hacks? We have nine hacks in the Mayu um, collection, 233 titles. In the Modern Collection, we have nine titles. And in the Pokemon Hacks, an additional 13 Pokemon Hacks here. Awesome stuff. This is really impressive. Um, let's continue on. I keep wanting to scroll down, but it's to the right. So we have Sega Game Gear here. 35 titles, no sub-collections. This gives you the logo, the box art, and, of course, the screenshot as well, which is always cool to have. We have Game & Watch with 43 titles in here. Game & Watch is cool. Definitely not something I dive into personally a whole lot, but I do kind of scroll through there because I remember the old Game & Watches, and um, it definitely kind of takes you down memory lane to see how they look. And even just going through the um, scraped info is kind of nostalgic. Now, over here, we have Sega Genesis. 279 games, also sub-collections. Hacks, we have 16 hacks. Mayu Collection, 462 titles. Modern Collection, 15 titles. And Translations. 20 titles massive collection here all in all now let's back out we have the intellivision collection with 137 titles then in the modern collection we have an additional 16 backing out again over here we have 40 titles modern has 16 titles benchmarks has four titles that's pretty cool msx the original we have 121 plus another Subcategory with 112, another one with 28, and seven inside here. Mega Duck, 25 titles plus one modern title. NES, 341. We have hacks though, 21 hacks. Mayo Collection has, holy crap, uh, 3,807 in here. Over here we have the modern collection with 64. Massive offering here for NES. And these are going to run perfect on here. I love the Mayu Mini for just about everything that it offers. But NES, it runs perfectly, of course. Neo Geo Pocket, 30 titles plus 13 modern. Three translations. Let's back out. Neo Geo, 138. This is where you're going to find all your Metal Slug titles, which are just one of my favorite um, collection of games. Love those titles. So many great offerings there. 
King of Monsters is good too. There's all your metal slugs and it's complete. They've got every single one in here, which is awesome. So we'll back out. And um, what else do we have here? We have Odyssey 2. That is a new one. 95 titles for Odyssey 2. Pico 8 has, let's see, 109. Plus we have 106 uh, under what looks like images. And then others has 1,100. I'm not at all familiar with this collection, but for those that are, I'm sure you can make of, of it what you will. Um, PlayStation over here, 182 PlayStation titles. And PlayStation is such a cool experience on here. I've demoed this quite a bit in the past because I thought it would be a challenge for this handheld to tackle, and it's not. It runs perfectly. My favorite title for PlayStation, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. So we have the box art, we have a screenshot as well. We've got some Tomb Raider in here. Do we have the Tekken games? We do, all the Tekken games. Awesome, backing out. And we also have for this, we have the PCSX standalone emulator. I do wanna make mention of that for PlayStation. Pokey Mini we have, oh, looks like nothing. This one's empty. All right, full start there. Ports, we have 11 different ports. This is broken up into action, um, FPS here. Doom Collection, Duke Nukem Collection, Quake Collection, Wolfenstein Collection. That's pretty cool. Seven titles here. So there's actually a lot of ports on here. That's impressive. Platform ports. Jump through here quick. There's seven different ones here. Rick Dangerous. Very cool. Mar uh, Super Mario 64. Good stuff. Puzzle games, we have seven in puzzle games. Racing, we have one, Outrun. Uh, Reflex, we have four. Import ports. Oh, that's two import ports. Okay, back out of that one once it stops scanning. Found 73, okay. All right, so we'll go over here to SG-1000. 25 titles there, Modern has four. Translations has four as well. Continuing on, we have Super Nintendo. This is extensive, the amount of stuff that's included on here. Imagine if it was larger than 128 gigabytes. This just goes on and on. I'm loving this. So Super Nintendo, 363. Hacks, we have 33. Mayo Collection, we have 1,429. Just a, just a handful in here. Modern, we have 15. Translations, we have 42. This is incredible. Just a insane offering here. Uh, and we do have some duplicates, I will mention that. They're not littered throughout, but I, I saw a couple along the way. We definitely saw a couple there at the top too. So here and there, like this one. Oh no, excuse me, made a mistake. That's the first one, that's the sequel. So it's really not bad at all. I mean, this is really well polished, really nicely put together. Donkey Kong Country titles, love those. Those are probably my favorite Super Nintendo games. Scum VM, which also includes the Scum VM standalone emulator on here, which is something new for the Mayu Mini Plus. Scum VM, we can go in here and actually import our games. And we have different uh, ways to import them. So I'm not super familiar with this, but I am familiar with the collection. Scum VM has some amazing uh, point and click sort of titles. I personally love the Indiana Jones ones, but there's some great stuff in there. Leisure Suit Larry, uh, The Curse of Monkey Island, Lots of great stuff. Sega 32X, 16 titles in here. NBA Jam Tournament Edition is probably my favorite for this one. Sega CD, 25 titles in here. Um, let's see, Master System, 50 titles. I assume that's Master System, right? Sega MS, yeah. Um, Supervision, 28 titles. TurboGrafx-16, 80 titles. TurboGrafx CD, 25 titles, and TIC 80, we have 17 titles. Now this one right here is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Cowabunga Collection. So if we were to jump in here, it's going to, let's see, I believe it's gonna pull all of your um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games from all these different collections. So Game Boy, we have three. Game Boy Advance, we have two. Mega Drive, we have two. So you can see it's a nice way of locating everything. ZX Spectrum has one. So lots of really cool ways to dive in there and enjoy Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 
Vectrex, we have 36 titles. Inside Modern, we have four. Virtual Boy, we have 29 titles. Inside Modern, we have 26. And Wonder Swan, we have 83. Inside Modern, we have four. And uh, ZX Spectrum, 200. Inside Images, we have two. Inside Modern, we have 102. So massive, massive, massive amount of games here. Now, we don't have an all games list on here as far as I can tell. Um, it might be one of those things where it actually populates in for certain collections. But yeah, it doesn't seem like it lists everything in one single list, which is fine. Um, we have the favorites collection we can customize ourselves. We have a recent collection that's going to pull up to 50, I believe, titles from, um, you know, 50 of the last played titles. So if you were playing two games and you shut this down for the day, you came back tomorrow, you wanted to resume, the, you know, one of those two, they'd be listed in recent. So if we go into expert over here, we're going to find some additional stuff. So these are going to be your standalone emulators. We have Final Burn Neo, which I want to highlight for you guys because Final Burn Neo has been overclocked with better ROMs on this collection. We also have Geltron overlays for Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Neo Geo Pocket on this. We have the Drastic NDS emulator. Um, we have, what else here? Inside standalone, we of course have MAME 2000, Advanced MAME. We have Final Burn Neo, as we mentioned. GPSP, uh, which is going to be for Game Boy Advance, an excellent way to enjoy those titles. Scum VM, as I mentioned, PCSX Rearmed, which is a standalone, and Open Bore, Open Beats of Rage. And if we go in here, we can find 10 titles for Open Beats of Rage. I love this collection. There's some really great um, side to side beat em up style games in here. Um, PCSX has 182 games in here. We have Scum VM with just two, but I believe we can add more very easily. Advanced MAME is just going to give you Elevator Action Returns, Japanese version, Final Burn Neo is going to give you 299 titles. GPSP is going to give you 221 here, inside Hacks 13, inside the Mayo Collection 1749. Um, Modern is going to have 54, Pokemon Hacks 31, and nine translations. And we saw some of this stuff before, of course. Um, MAME 2000 is empty. So great offering here. Let's dive into some games. Let's do a gameplay demo on just a handful of um, game collections. And we'll just see what the performance is like here using Onion OS. But I expect it to be pretty much phenomenal because I am, again, very familiar with both the Mayo Mini Plus as well as Onion OS. They work together extremely well. Honestly, your best experience on the Mayo Mini Plus is always going to be with Onion OS. So let's dive into some games and game collections. All right, guys, this was a great experience here on the Mayo Mini Plus, which I expected because I'm a huge fan of the Mayo Mini Plus. I think it's the best small scale handheld out there on the market today. But we now have a 128 gigabyte SanDisk micro SD card, emphasis on SanDisk. Name brand is always key. And it runs Onion OS, which is the best operating system for the Mayo Mini Plus. I think most people were getting these before, like I did, taking the generic card that comes in here stock 
throwing it out over your shoulder or throwing it right in the garbage. And they were flashing Onion OS onto a micro SD card, installing that within, but you were having to take all those extra steps. You had to go track down ROMs. You had to add all those onto your new micro SD card running Onion OS uh, in order to have the experience that now you can have as soon as you power this on right out of the box. So great experience here. All the different cores that are available on here, standalone emulators and games, outstanding, just a phenomenal experience. So remember though, not every Mayu Mini out there on the market is going to come with this updated card on here. So I'm gonna give you guys the direct link to this exact version here, this exact seller that is selling this, where everything comes exactly how you saw it here in this video, because not everybody, again, I'm gonna stress this, not everybody that's selling this is going to be selling it with the updated card, the updated game list, all that good stuff. That is what you wanna have, because again, you're gonna have that turnkey plug and play experience here right off the bat if you go this route. So link up here at the top of your screen, as well as in the description of this video. That is gonna do it for today. Let me know what you guys thought of the Mayu Mini Plus with the Onion OS stock card on here. That's gonna do it though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for the support here on the channel. Be sure to hit subscribe, stay in the loop for all future videos, and please give me a thumbs up right here on this video. Thanks again, take care.